Look at this. Oh. Ugh. That is just a ton of pollen. This whole thing's gonna be covered by the end of the day. But you guys know, as the old saying goes, when the dogwoods start to blossom and the pollen starts to fall, get your boats in the water, because there are fish for us all. I just made that up, how about that? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another springtime and a little bit stuffy high adventure video. You guys are gonna have to throw up the finger for me because my hands are full of breakfast. We are finally getting out on the beautiful Lake Murray. It has been months since I have been out here, hoping to target some crappy over the course of the day. See if they're starting to move up and stage around some bridges and some brush piles, maybe getting ready for that pre-spawn movement. Boat's already in the water. We're gonna show you guys our tricked out boat or all the stuff we got done to it here in just a minute. But first we gotta stop off. Grab a little bait, and then we'll be on our way. Oh boy, there she is, looking beautiful out on the water. I always bring with me a couple of dozen, or at least a good handful, of live bait, especially on days like today where we haven't been out fishing in a while, and I just don't know what to expect. So it's always good just to have a little bit of live bait on hand. There you guys go. Oh, I tell you, the other nice thing about this boat it's nice having a live well. Actually, we've got two live wells. I'm actually using this guy over here, though, as my cooler. <laughs> got our drinks and snacks on it. Let's go return the bucket, then I'm going to show you guys this boat here. All right, guys. Look at, look at this. Ain't she a beauty? Ain't she a beauty? First off, I want to give a big shout out to Brett with Southern Camo Works. He's the one that did the paint job that you guys see. Then his buddy, Dylan over at Deep Creek Customs, put in the sea deck, the gator skin sea deck that you guys see. I mean, this thing is so awesome. And last but not least, Limitless Marina. Jason and Kendall got me all hooked up with electronics. I've got lights, interior, exterior. Obviously, you guys will see those in later videos when we camp on the boat. Uh, got me a new uh, depth finder hooked up. Got my trolling motor hooked up. They did an awesome job. All of these companies are local companies. So I tried to stick all local, obviously, well, for obvious reasons, but all local companies got our boat custom hooked up. And I got to give a big shout out to Johnny for getting me all the lettering on the side. And we still have to name it. I'm preferable to Esmeralda. I feel like we need to stick with a female name. I've been putting polls up on like my Instagram uh, for trying to figure out what we should name it. And I feel like I feel like we gotta go with like a girl name, right? Just because that's what they do with boats. So I'm preferable to Esmeralda. I don't know why, I just like that name. I don't know, you guys drop a comment below. Tell me what we should name it. We originally put it to a vote here about a month ago. Gator Bay won uh, all the names, but I don't know, I'm just not sold. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, enough talking about it. Let's go out, let's do some fishing. Let's see if we can't get in on some big pancakes hanging out under some of these bridges. All right, we got our long 150 yard run out of the way. Pulling up to our first bridge. Ooh, this is a low hanging bridge. There we go. Got a bit of current moving through here as well. Contend with that. Look at this, jeepers, I'm about to duck. Bunch of bait just scattered right there. Is that a fish? Did I just cook hit the No, we got one. We got one. First one. First one of the morning. I thought I got hooked on the uh, oh nice crappy. Nice crappy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's a good fish. Right by that piling, guys. Let's go. Woo! That's a way to start the morning. Look at that fish. That's beautiful. You know, sometimes that dirty water gives you a little extra cover. That's only about six or seven feet deep over there and I'm rolling right over top of it. So get a little extra cover, keep yourself hidden from the crappy. Now check this out. We have a measuring board built right into the boat. So this guy's gonna go about 12 and three quarters. Look at that, he's missing like the top of his tail. Interesting. That's a nice fish though. That's a really nice way to start the day. Just drop him right into our live well. There we go. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna put this middle thing in here. 
there we go kind of separate them i don't know why but whatever sweet guys we got a fish in the box already let me show you what i'm using so funny thing that's actually the first crappy i've ever caught off this bridge before i've never had luck here usually it's the other bridge i like to fish but this is what i got going on we've got a little water actually not a watermelon that's a mountain dew colored um just a little single tailed jig we've got a little chartreuse with red um eye jig head on that now these actually come courtesy of a local guy named mr chuck he got me hooked up with these last year you must some of you may have remembered that episode but he hooked me up with this mountain dew color and i tell you what this thing has been phenomenal here in the local lakes and what i've done is i've actually paired it with some of this fire gel shad i just rubbed a little bit on there and i'll probably do that about every hour and just give a little bit of extra flavor hopefully entice those crappy just a little bit more to bite especially with this water still being a little chilly these fish just starting to kind of get moving around I'm thinking but that's what we got going on at least that's what we're starting the day with there's one right oh shoot missed him missed him dag nabbit I don't think he tasted the hooks though there's one right there oh my gosh dude how'd I miss that I don't think either of those fish tasted the hook though so we're gonna roll back through there, see if we can't get them to climb back on. Do, 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 do. All right, take two, we're running back through here. There's a bite right there, got it, got it. It's a good crappy right there, that's a good crappy. That is a good fish. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a piggy. Is that net worthy? I think if it's, yeah, let's get the net. Do. solid fish yes ah we came back through on the second go and got him look at that look at that mama oh my gosh dudes she horked that thing down look how deep that thing is in there we missed her the first time went around that pillar yeah we got another bite on the opposite side of this pillar too so we're gonna f try maybe one more time but oh, dude she annihilated that that's a slab. That's one of those pillar pancakes we're after. Let's see how she goes. Ooh, 14, look at that, 14 inches. Oh, beautiful 14 inch black crappy. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Drop her in here. Let's get a little more water down in there for him. Oh my goodness, man, for a bridge that I have never had any success at, and I've fished it relatively regularly, we're putting in work right now. They're there. All right, guys. Pillaged this bridge for a couple of nice crappy. Got the skunk out of the boat. Let's go ahead and keep bridge hopping. Let's head to the next one. Fortunately, it's right around the corner. Let's go see what secrets lie there. Hopefully a few more slabos. We gotta beat 14 inches. That's the new best right now. Bridge number two. Troll this guy in. Man, I'm seeing the same thing, just a ton of bait around here, y'all. Ton of bait. <laughs> Look at these pilings, these beautiful pilings. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna make some magic happen here. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. There's a bite right there. Got him. Got him. Another solid fish. Yep, crappy. Nice fish. Maybe not 14, but that's maybe a 13. Let's see if we can swing her aboard. Look at that. Boom. Told you guys we'd make some magic happen here. <laughs> they are loving that Mountain Dew. Who doesn't love a good Mountain Dew? Here we go. Yeah, okay, 11. Tad over 11, but a real chunky one. It's a real fat one. Beautiful. Drop her in there. Oh man, this is so fun. Right by that piling, guys, we just started to. There's one right there, right there. Got him. Ooh. Oh, that's a war mouth, look at that. Dang it. And just to add to the variety to the day, not what we wanted, but hey, there you go. It's a little guy. Toss him back in. Shoo. There's one right there. Just lifted it up and he was on. What in the world is this? 
I don't think this is a crappy. Is that a crappy? No, dude, that's a bass. We got a big old large bass to find. Ha! Ah, dudes, the variety today. <laughs> Let's lift it. Oh, it's been a minute since I've lifted a bass. Give me a minute. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, I think there are a bunch of guys out here pre-fishing for a tournament. I need to let them know. Drop the, uh, drop the Mountain Dew. Drop the Mountain Dew jig down. That's a nice fish, dudes. That's probably a pound and a half. Gosh, it's been a quick minute since I caught a largemouth. That's beautiful. I just dropped it right down. I was getting ready to pick it up for our drift session here. And he just nailed it on the fall. That's pretty. Dang, I might have to do a video targeting some largemouth. It's been a hot minute since I've done that. Nice fish. I tell you what, everything hangs out around bridge pilings, y'all. Everything hangs out around a good bridge piling. Here we go. Cool. Dude, that boat sounds bloody awful. Service your engine, man, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. They're smoking like crazy over there. Golly. Sounds like my lungs after I've had the pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. I'm in the mood for love. All right, guys, we are in the middle of the afternoon. Tried another bridge to no avail. I remember this from past crappy fishing experiences. This time of the year during the daytime, it pretty much dies, the bite does. So we're gonna do a little long lining back in this creek. I'm getting some of my live bait out. We're gonna have a couple of these with live bait, a couple of these just naked. We're gonna long line for the next couple hours. See if we can't pick up some Roman crappy or maybe some, uh, uh, some striper swimming around back in these creeks. Kind of anything, you know? Doesn't that just look tantalizing to you? Mm. If I were a fish, I'd be jumping all over that. Whoosh there we go. That's actually a solid cast. Nothing like a little uncrustable in the afternoon. It's getting close about time to fillet some fish up, though. I'm excited for a little crappy dinner out here on the boat. First ever cook on the new boat. Mm. Oh, that was good. I like the Nutella ones. Oh, right, guys, check this out right in front of us. Right in front of us. There are loons diving in the water. They've found a bait ball. And they're, the bait is close enough to the surface where the loons are diving down for it. And look, see all the seagulls starting to gather around? Like, they know something's up. That's what you follow, man. You follow the birds. Follow the birds. They'll lead you to the bait, which will lead you to the bigger fish. Oh, there are the loons right there. Just popped up. Oh, two more just popped up right there. See, uh, the seagulls, they're waiting. They're like, wait, where's it at? Where's the bait? Come on. Dudes, look at the sheer size of that bait ball. You've got a few fish right up in there. But look at that. Good grief. I don't know if I've seen a bait ball that big before. Shoo! These fish got plenty to eat in here. It's not interested in eating my bait right now. Alrighty, guys. We spent a good... Two hours long lining. I had one hit. That was it. Probably a striper. Maybe a bass. Anyway, I have a couple of nice specimens. We're fast approaching supper time now. So it's time to get eaten. Let's cook up a little fancy feast right here out on the water. I do have my lines out. I'm suspended over some uh, structure or some, you know, some cover. Um, I've got four of the live minnows down. We're literally sitting over a big bush right now. So if there's anything down there, maybe it'll come up, eat the bait while we're cooking. I don't know, but it's worth a shot. We're gonna go ahead and just fillet these out. I've killed them, boinked them on the head. Good sharp knife, make quick work of these little guys. They're pretty easy to clean because they're not very bony in, in the sense of their bones, I guess, aren't very big. They're pretty quick to work right through. Oh, I just broke another tail. Good grief, I'm two for three on that. That's okay. Good sharp knife. Move right through that white meat like that. Mm -mm. There we go. A little clunky with the gloves, but I'm just trying to stay safe. Safety first. There we go. I'm just gonna take out that rib cage right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. If I was catfishing, 
we have some good bait right there, but we're gonna throw that way away from the boat, especially since I'm fishing some timber right below us. <laughs> Trying to catch crappy, like dead crappy starting to fall on them. That's probably a big turn off to the fish. <laughs> Carcasses of relatives start floating down. Yeah! Brought the old portable Coleman. Sets right up just about anywhere. I like this because it's got the little sides on it. Kind of keeps the wind out. All right, we've got some nice fillets. I'm gonna drop them right into our Ziploc bag of flour, one at a time. Okay, we're we'll just throwing them all in. Scrap that. <laughs> Mix this all up, get them all floured up. All right, mixing that around. We've got a little egg wash that I'm gonna put these guys in in just one minute. But first, I brought with me this dirty little potato. We're gonna make some fries with our fish. Nice thing about being out here, is just throw everything overboard, minus your trash, obviously. I realize I'm cutting my vegetable on the same surface that my fish was on. I am gonna deep fry this, so I'm just hoping that the frying kills anything that may or may not be on the potato now. now I don't know, but I may have done this backwards. I don't know if the fish should have gone in the wash first. Oh well. They're going in the wash now, I could tell you that. Let's see if the potatoes are ready. Oh yeah. Time to drop some potatoes in. If that's ready, that fish just about ready to get thrown in as well. Woohoo! Get some chips going. Fish and chips on the boat. Look at us. Ooh, oh, hot. Careful. I'm thinking, yep, that's ready to go. Pull our fish out, our extra breaded fish strips. There goes one. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That's what I like. Shake some of the dust off. Oh yeah. I think we'll just do these a couple at a time. Two at a time, not get too crazy. Oh, ho, ho. what are we creating on the boat? I think it's about time to fit, flip our fish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. That is what I like to see. Ooh, golden brown. Mm. That looks phenomenal. We've taken our first batch of chips off. Throwing a little salt and pepper on them. Got a few more on there as well. Everything is coming together nice. Oh, you know what we brought with us too, guys? We brought with us because we're fancy. Look, we've got us a little diner dish with a diner napkin thingy to do that we could just put all this in. Once the oil, like with these fries, oh, I need it to stay in though. Ah, wind's blowing it out. Hey, chill out there. Once we got the oil out of the chips, dump them in. Oh, one left over. We're gonna create our own little fish and chips basket here, right on the boat. Still nothing on the fish rods, but I'm holding that oak. All right, guys, we have our beautiful, big, crappy strips. We're gonna put them right in this little tin here. And I brought with me some Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing. This is like my favorite sauce of theirs. And we're just gonna dump a bunch of that in there like this. Bing bong. Put the lid on it. Secured. Make sure everything's secure. And then we're just gonna toss them in that sauce. We're making, what do they call this? It's usually like chicken fingers, so fish fingers, fish chips, something like that. Toss it around the Asian zing. Let's see how it's looking. Oh my. Oh, it's kind of breaking apart actually is what's happening. Ooh, gotta be careful. This is gonna go so nicely with our chips. Oh. Smells delicious. Guys, we just got one on this little rod. We just got one on here. Check it out. Rod just bent over. No idea what it is. Oh man, it's a little white perch. Dang. It doubled over. Well, we caught something over this, over this uh, brush. Here you go. Not what I was hoping for, but yeah. Get out of here. Are you ready? Brought with us a little southern favorite, Yoo-Hoo. 
set them right here. Y'all, look at this though. Look at that. Get a load of the feast. We're eating right out here on the lake. Let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, I pray that you bless this food to my body now. Thank you for this time that we had out in your creation. And I just pray you continue to keep Stephanie and the kids in safety and myself in safety and just bring us back together in safety tonight. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Oh my goodness. Y'all, first off, we're going to get after one of these chips. Oh. You hear that crunch? That's what you want right there. Simple salt and pepper. Cooked in a little... Canola oil, cracked salt, cracked pepper. Mmm. That just sings, yeah. <laughs> that just sings. Mmm. There we go. Mmm. Cheers to y'all at home. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. Here we go, though. The main course. Got crappy fingers. What would you call these? Fish sticks. Crappy fish sticks, massive fish sticks, if you will. Mmm, that Asian zing sauce, dudes. Oh wow, that just that makes everything good. Now, the first thing I notice, well, as I spill on myself, it's not as crispy and crunchy as I thought it might be. And I don't know, maybe that's just the sauce got in there and like kind of moistened the breading. Not the crispiness that I was kind of hoping for, unfortunately, but that's still a good piece of fish right there. Mm. Oh, man. Fish and chips right out here on Lake Murray for our first trip out in 2024. We're not done yet, though. Sun's starting to set. We're going to go try one more bridge. One more bridge for a little redemption for a slow afternoon. And then if that doesn't work, we'll call it a day. But... I'm not going to give up. I got one last card trick up my sleeve, whatever you want to call it, but it's up there. We're going to we're going to try to shake it out. Mm. Well guys, apparently I lied. I have no more tricks up my sleeve. We went to two different bridges and nothing. I saw some fish down there, but this lake is still waking up. It's still waking up. It was still an awesome ride though this evening it, with the sun setting. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. We're definitely coming back out here. We're gonna do a little boat camping, give it a couple more weeks. And when this bites on fire with the striper, with the crappy, maybe with some largemouth fishing, I don't know, everything then we're gonna come out here, we're gonna camp in this boat, and we are going to lay a beat down on some fish out here. I guarantee you that. Hope you enjoyed the video and the crazy recipe, and as always, I will see you in the next one.